Hello aspirants, this is me Yasmin Gill presenting to you the PIB MCQs of 26th of December. So you can follow all these uh, MCQ sets on this particular link of an academy and you can also rate and review them. So let's begin with a couple of instructions. Do watch yesterday's PIB summary. There are certain questions which are from PIB summary. Also, uh, when you do all the questions, do mention your scorecard in the comment section. So beginning with the first question, which among them is true? A. Agni 5 is an intercontinental ballistic missile. B. It is a surface-to-air missile. C. It is a two-stage missile that is capable of carrying multiple independently targeted re-entry vehicle payloads. D. It can be canister-fired as well. E. It can carry nuclear warheads. By nuke, I here mean nuclear warheads too. So, there's a recent launch of Agni-5. In fact, not a new one. There's a repeated uh, tests of Agni-5 go going on. So, in that context, if you look at the options here, the first option here is absolutely correct. Do mention in the comment section what is a ballistic missile. If you look at second option, it is a surface-to-air missile. This is wrong. It is an intercontinental surface-to-surface -surface missile. If you look at option C, this is though it is capable of carrying this uh, re-entry vehicles, which we commonly refer to it as MIRV payloads. So, yes, it is capable of carrying, but it is not a two-stage. It is a three-stage missile. If you look at option D, it can be canister-fired as well. This, this is right, and in fact, this provides an additional advantage of... I would say portability and ease of firing from wherever you want. And if you look at option E, it can carry nuclear warheads too. Yes, absolutely. So hereby we have A, D, E as the correct options. And do mention in the comment section what do you mean by ballistic missiles. Next, which among them is true? A, kidneys in our body help in regulation of blood pressure. B, dialysis is to remove uh, water and chemicals from your blood. C, neurons in our kidneys do this function naturally. D. National Dialysis Services Program announced this year in budget will be implemented via PPP model. So, looking at options, if uh, the correct option here are, if you look at the first answer, though you may feel it surprising, but actually kidneys are responsible for regulation of blood pressure. So, it is absolutely correct. B. Dialysis to remove waste and chemicals. This is also true. And obviously, why this is important? Because this very year in budget, a new program was announced related to dialysis services and this has to be implemented via PPP model. So D is also correct. If you look at option C, now if you skip it very quickly, you might uh, mark it correct but this is actually wrong. Why? Because it is not neurons, rather it is nephrons, the smallest unit of the uh, tubes that are present in kidneys. So neurons, where are they located? They are located in brains. Brain, sorry, not brains, <laughs> no, it's brain. So uh, there are nerve cells, basic unit of a nerve cell is known as neuron while that of a kidney is known as nephron. So hereby we have A, B and D as the correct option. Also you can see that to reduce the cost, Government of India has also proposed to exempt certain parts of dialysis equipment from custom duty, excise, etc. Next, which among them is not true? A, Nagaland recently came into limelight due to formation of seven new districts in one go. B, NH2 and NH37 serve as lifelines of Nagaland. C, Metis and cookies have revolted against this move of the state. So you all know why this issue, uh, issue is important. So looking at the correct answer here, the correct answer to it is, see, firstly, you have to target which among them is not true. So hereby, the correct answer is that none of them is true. So hereby, they asked which is not true. So all of these are not true. And why? See, firstly, it is Manipur which was in highlight or uh, sorry, in limelight due to formation of seven new districts in one go, which led to severe amount of rewards from Naga Council. So it was not Metis and Cookies who revolted. In fact, they were very much in favor of it. Rather, it was Nagas who revolted. And yes, NH2 and NH37 serve as lifelines, but not of Nagaland. Therefore, Manipur. You can also read more about the issue here and you can also follow this article of Hindu. Next, which among them is true? A. Kain and Betwa are tributaries of a common river. B. River Kain lies to the west of River Betwa. C. Kana National uh, Tiger Reserve might occur in, might incur a threat in case of Kain Betwa linkage program. So we know in case of interlinking, we are trying to link these two rivers. So if you look at options here, the correct answer to this particular question is the A option is absolutely correct. Tributaries of a common river. Do mention in the comment section which is that river of whom Kain and Betwa are tributaries of. If you look at option B, River Kane lies to the west. This is absolutely wrong. River Kane lies to the east of River Betwa. If you uh, do check the map for it. And if you look at option C, Kana Tiger Reserve. It is not Kana Tiger Reserve which might incur a threat. Rather, it is Panna Tiger Reserve which might incur a threat. Present in Madhya Pradesh. So, hereby uh, we have only A as the correct option. You can also read about this uh, link of Hindu here. Next. 
Which among them is correct? A. Longest railway tunnel is proposed to come up in north northeastern India. B. It will be on a narrow gauge line. C. Peer Panjal Tunnel located in Jammu and Kashmir is the longest such tunnel right now. So this is directly picked from PIB. If you look at option here, the first is absolutely correct, coming in northeast India towards the Imphal side. If you look at option B, it will be a narrow gauge. It will be on a narrow gauge line. This is wrong. Why? Because it will be on a broad gauge line. If you look at option C, Peer Panjal Tunnel is the longest tunnel. Yes, it is present in Jammu Kashmir and it is the longest such tunnel. Tunnel. Peer Panjal is the uh, name of ranges too. So this is the correct answer here. It comes as A and C. You can also follow this link. Next, also do mention before we move on. Do mention what do you mean by this broad gauge? There are various uh, gauges, right? In railways, we have a meter gauge, we have a narrow gauge, we have a broad gauge. So what do you mean by a broad gauge? Next, which among them is correct? A. Nagaland lies to the north of Manipur. B. Both states share a common border with Arunachal Pradesh. C. Both states share a common border with Myanmar. So looking at options here, the first one is absolutely correct. Nagaland lies to the north of Manipur. If you look at option C, this is also correct. Both share their border with Myanmar. But if you look at option B, both of them do not share their border with Arunachal Pradesh. If you carefully think upon it, see, the first option said Nagaland lies to the north of Manipur, right? So they're not sort of... Um, uh, I would say uh, lying actually side by side, but they are top bottom, right? So Nagaland lies uh, north of Manipur and therefore it is Nagaland which actually touches Arunachal Pradesh while Manipur does not touch Arunachal Pradesh. So hereby B option stands wrong and we have A and C as the correct option. Also, both of these states do have a common border but with Assam. Also, do remember that see, Assam is a very unique state. It's a very long and spread sort of state and it actually touches most of the northeastern states. Next. Which among them is true? A. Polavaram Vijayavad link is the name given to Krishna Godavari link. B. Excess water from Krishna river will be diverted to Godavari river. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. So, uh, looking at options here, the correct answer to this particular question is only A. Why? See, because Godavari is the river which has excess of water. It usually floods and the water is drained uselessly into Bay of Bengal. So this water is thought of being diverted towards Krishna River. It is actually planned to be diverted towards Krishna River. So hereby B stands wrong. We have only A as the correct option. Do read this particular uh, description too. Next. Which among them is correct? A. VSV above is an Ebola vaccine. B. It is based on ring vaccination approach. C. It is an approved medicine by regulatory authorities. D. The vaccine was developed by Health Agency of Canada and US Army and is now licensed to Merck. E. It is an effective vaccine against Ebola in humans and animals. So, I do not know the context why this was published in Indian Express yesterday. But maybe there is some recent development. So, but yes, it was published in Indian Express yesterday and therefore we will be doing it. So, looking at options here, otherwise, see, otherwise, uh, Ebola, the topic is as such not of, uh, not that much current right now. So, if you look at options here, the correct option here is, if you look at A, this is absolutely correct. It is, from the name itself, it is evident. If you look at B, it is based on ring vaccination approach. So, so the ring vaccination approach is sort of, see, I suppose anyone gets Ebola, he, he or she comes into contact with the... Uh, n number of people right so they'll be contacting all those n linkages and forming a ring so that other people do not get affected if you look at option c it is an approved ma uh, medicine by regulatory authorities no this is wrong it, uh, it was not approved by any proper regulatory authority but still uh, who it allowed the usage of the vaccine and that too on humans why because it, it seemed to be very effective during the test stages if you look at option d the vaccine was developed d is absolutely correct and if you look at option e See, it is an effective vaccine against Ebola in humans, but not in animals. It causes sickness in animals. In fact, due to certain sort of genetic strains which are present in the uh, medicine, you need not go into the details. Just remember it causes sickness in animals. But yes, it is very, very effective towards humans. And you can read more about the issue here. A, B, D stand corrected here. Next, what is true of them? A, NFU stands for non-functional upgradation. B, it entitles IAS officers and other group A officers to get pay scale of the highest promoted officer of their batch. C, this is irrespective of whether he or she has himself or herself reached that rank. D, this has been extended to armed forces as well. So quickly, the correct option to this particular question is, all of these here are correct and this is to all the three armed forces. Next, which country has recently dragged India to WTO related to certain uh, measures? And well, quickly, the correct answer to it is Japan. So thank you so much.